Hello and welcome to Raid Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some news for you and our first topic, Master KG survives a near-death experience. Award-winning DJ and producer Master KG has opened up about his near-death experience today. Master KG said the left side engine of a plane exploded just after they took off Istanbul in Turkey. Now the DJ said that this was the most horrific experience he has ever experienced. A lot of experience right there. Now Master KG posted the following on social media. Damn this BS flight at Turkish Airlines left side engine just exploded just after we took off from Istanbul. We had to round for 4 hours so it can lower the fuel level so we can land back at the airport. For a minute I thought it was over. God is amazing. Big up to the pilots. Now he also posted a video over there of the engine blowing up I suppose. So yeah, that is the near-death experience. Definitely good to hear that they all survived. Now, the Turkish Airlines customer support actually responded to Master KG and apologized for the incident. They wrote, hello, we are sorry to hear this was your travel experience. Please send over your ticket number or reservation code and email address via DM so that we can have a look. But reacting to the news on social media, users are glad that the Jerusalem hitmaker is okay. Now before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Babes Odumo congratulates Gamon Pela. Following Kamumpela's fire performance at the United Kingdom, South Africans quickly shifted their attention to the newlywed Gom Queen Babes Otumo. Now, social media users were convinced that Babes Otumo fell off and Kamu is the hottest act currently, which personally, I mean, I'm not really going to argue with that. But moving right along, it does seem that they feel that there was a time when Babes Otumo was the talk of the town and was the hottest act to even exist. But of course, you know, social media doesn't really mean that Babes Otumo really fell off as her latest album is reported reported to have gone platinum. But like I said, you know, fans do feel that Babes Otumo would be very far in life had she not decided to settle down and have a kid. Now, Trolls even mocked her marriage to Mampincha mainly because he admitted to abusing her on their reality show, Utando Lotumo. Now, Babes Otumo has put all of that in the past, but it does seem that users on social media have not, and it does seem they still want the best for her. So, like I said, Babes Otumo became a trending topic ever since that clip of Gamumpela's performance went viral. Now, in response to that, it is reported that Babes Otumo threw a bit of shade and pointed out her accolades reminding people of who she is and where she started from. Babes Otumo and a group of women actually laughed at trolls and told them that she has been dragged for a long time in the industry but she is still standing. So yeah, it does seem that Babes Otumo was indeed throwing shade, but not necessarily at Gamon Pella. Quite the contrary, actually, on her Facebook page, Babes Otumo actually gave credit to Gamu. Babes Otumo posted a video and captioned it, Super proud of you, Gamu. Keep shining, baby. <laughs> Now, as you can see in the video, the two of them are actually dancing and having a good time, as you can see in that video. I will say this, I do kind of somewhat get the comparison between Babes and Gamu, but I think Babes, you know, is mature enough that uh, she understands that she and Gamu might have a lot in common, but they are running their own races and they're doing it at their own pace and it is not necessarily a competition. Heck, they are even in two different genres. Our next topic, Mini Jamini Jones gets bootylicious. Mini Jamini Jones is one of those celebrities 
celebrities who hardly post anything on social media but whenever she does it is definitely memorable now most recently she actually partnered with brooklyn winter to create content in honor of beyonce's 40th birthday they recreated her famous bootylicious look and safe to say that they nailed it now mini Lamini posted the following picture of beyonce and then she also posted another picture of herself somewhat recreating that look and it is captioned so at brooklyn winter decided that we all get together to celebrate beyonce's 40th b day we all had to recreate one of her iconic looks and i went with bootylicious now at the end there she wrote p.s it was a competition and i came second haters <laughs> happy birthday queen b personally i think mini Lamini killed it you know first place we would have deserved that but moving right along this morning she shared a new picture wishing her followers a bootylicious day she posted the following picture uh, and captioned it have a bootylicious day with a peach emoji yeah, nah, I'm not one of those guys, you know, who easily gets distracted. But I looked at this and, and I'm distracted. Very distracted. Young Pazamis. Our next topic, Sive Nati Mabuya, a.k.a. Kolile, confirms her time is up on Scandal after four years. So Scandal viewers are going through a lot as the current storyline has seen many of their favorites hit the road. Now the latest to confirm her exit, much to fans heartbreak is actress Sive Nati Mabuya, who plays, or should I say who played, Kolile. Now, Sive Nati confirmed her exit on social media, telling her fans that they would have to go a while without seeing her character, but that she was eternally grateful for the four years she spent in their lounges. So she posted a couple of pictures on social media and captioned them as follows. So on Friday, we said a very subtle peace out to Kolile Langa. Yes, I can now finally say it out loud that we won't be seeing her for a while. To exit the very same way she came into our lives was homage to the true nature of her being, putting family first that's what we had in common the love of family i can say so much about koli but what will always stand out is her growth from being koli lelanga to koli lelanga maiza to finally koli lelanga mudupe and what a journey that was this is not goodbye this is till we meet again i mean it's official etv scandal after all thank you for the love support and recognition these past four years have been magical it was an absolute honor to play this character and to be part of many families lives homes in the country this is one i will forever cherish oh but the memories the joy the laughter the lessons the boomies she puts in brackets that's the scene moments she goes on to say i will never forget Get this opportunity later guys so yeah it does seem that scandal has kept its viewers on their toes for the past couple of weeks with unexpected plot twists and exits of unlikely characters our next topic, Casper Nioves dreams of an international fill up. So rapper Casper Nioves says that he has a new endeavor and that is to host a one-man show in London's popular live music arena, The O2. Now Casper Nioves took to Twitter after his recent performance at AmaFest, the Ama Piano Festival in the UK, saying that he had a desire to host one of his fill-up concerts at The O2 within the next two years. So he posted, I need a one-man show in London soon i also want to play o2 in the next two years and be the first south african to sell it out will you be there now according to the reports the o2 hosts about twenty thousand people now casper your vest has filled up you know the fnb which holds you know about three or four times that but yeah apart from that tweet casper your vest also posted the following i'm definitely going to sell out the o2 arena in a few years if not two that's my dream i'm way too comfortable in south africa time for a new challenge this trip has been nothing but inspiring it's also been motivating to see our growth from my first time performing in london so yeah considering that the amapiano craze has gone globally rapper casper nervous turned you know amapiano artist contribution to the genre and his track record of hosting successful concerts casper nervous dream when we really think about it is not that far-fetched our next topic aka to continue legal battle against the bride show with casper in your vest so today at 6 p.m the bride show with casper in your vest is going to air for the first time and i'm definitely going to be watching that but we're talking about aka continuing his legal battle and this particular news comes courtesy of entertainment commentator film pella who posted the following on social media statement aka vows to continue the legal fight against the hashtag bride show as the new season with casper 
Daniel Vest as host debuts tonight on SABC1, aka also wishes Casper success with the new season. Hashtag the Bri Show with Cas. So below is the actual full statement. Let us take a read. Date 08 September 2021, location Bryanston. Statement issued by Keenan, aka Forbes, regarding the Bri Show. By now, as you are aware, the Bri Show goes to air tonight on SABC1. This matter for me has always been about business principles and asserting my legal rights to my intellectual property and a binding contractual clause that clearly states that myself and Makudu.com are equal split partners to the Bry Show. When I took a personal decision on May the 13th to step back from public engagements and day-to-day -day business to heal, I personally engaged all my business partners advising of this and my continued commitment to these partnerships. Never did I foresee a partnership with such personal connections and affiliation would be the one to betray me. On the 20th of August 2021, after many attempts for myself to reach an amicable solution, my legal team filed an interdict against Makudu.com, Cake Media and the South African Broadcasting Corporation. The party subsequently met on the 25th of August 2021 at the request of the legal representatives of Makudu.com for yet another roundtable discussion. In good faith, I agreed to this as it has always been my intention to reach solution with no legal proceedings. However, as soon as the interdict was withdrawn and during the meeting on the 25th of August 2021, it became clear to my legal representatives that our good faith was being exploited for tactical purposes by Makudu.com. Many artists have gone down the route of letting go of legal battles such as this and thus we suffer and end up with no ownership of our work. It is for this reason that I continue to fight this injustice to my creative vision and the violation of my trust as it is clear to me that the continued exploitation of the creative industry in this country will see no end. It is for that reason that I intend to continue the fight. The time has come for a new precedent to be set. I wish continual success for the Bry Show and its host for season 2. After all is said and done, it's just business. End. So yeah, like I said on this channel many a times, this beef that has been cooking for years and decades, I feel like it's kind of lost that flavor for me. So yeah, do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about AKA vowing to continue the legal fight against the Bry Show. And also, you know, while you're down there, don't forget to share the video with your family, your friends, your enemies, confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.